Hello everybody, it is The Last Raider. We are back with another video and we are doing some major comics gate drama with anti-comics straight. Uh, number one person we're dealing with right now is Preston Poulter. Now, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Pre Preston has been an outspoken spoken outwardly against Comicsgate and been outspoken about Comicsgate and his hatred for Comicsgate to the point he has been referring to them by a particular slur. And while that particular slur also refers to a form of pornography that Preston was caught in. Now, after being caught in this, Preston is now angry at Ethan Van Skyver. He's He's kind of jumped on this saying, this is my chance. This is my chance to destroy Ethan Van Skyver by basically saying Ethan Van Skyver was not... How do we put this? Uh, given the authority to release pornography, which in reality, there's no evidence that Ethan Van Skyver has released any of Preston's pornography. And here's the problem with this. Preston's trying to say this is revenge form porn. One, you're going to have to prove that Ethan did this. And two, you're going to have to prove that Ethan didn't have permission. Here's the problem, though. Uh, you're going to have to prove the place where your cuck porn was found, Preston, uh, it was found on Pornhub. Okay? Pornhub is basically the same thing as YouTube. If someone wants to take that video and share it and put a comment on it, it is technically free speech. Also, if I recall, you probably shot this pornography and I'm willing to bet you signed some form of contract to get paid for it. You did say you were paid for doing this. This means somewhere along the line, the company that did this nonsense probably had you sign a waiver dictating that you no longer had rights to the pornography after you were paid for your acting services. I'm using that term loosely. So... <laughs> to sit there and say that Ethan doesn't have permission to this is asinine. You would have to prove that the company itself who put out this porn and put it up on Pornhub, mind you, did not give Ethan permission, even though they put it up on a video sharing site, which is Pornhub. It is free pornography anyone can upload. So if they uploaded it there, they have pretty much given up rights to, you know, charge people for it and everything else. Anyone has a right to it at that point, unless Pornhub has something in their specific, in their guidelines, which say differently. But the fact of the matter is, you have really no legal standing. You've already, I'm willing to bet, you signed a waiver and you've signed a document stating that you are giving up your right to controlling what is done with this video. So you don't have a case. It, and that is dependent solely on Ethan Van Skyver broadcasting the pornography, which all Ethan... I mean, Ethan doesn't even have access to. The only access he has is what Pornhub is allowing him to have. So you are technically going to have to sue Pornhub for putting this video out there into the open. <clears throat> That's who you should be suing in this instance. But let's, let's explain what it would take for you to actually be right in this instance. You would have to prove that, one, Ethan Van Skyver has gotten this pornography of yours, your, your cuck porn, uh, by not going through Pornhub. You're going to have to prove that somehow he got it. You're then going to have to prove that he didn't sign any contracts to get it. He didn't pay anything to get it. And you're going to have to prove that Ethan then took it from this source that he got, which was not Pornhub or the company, and disseminated it with the intent of harming you. Okay? That's how you can do the revenge porn thing, because the idea is you've taken something personal and put it out there in the open. It doesn't work when your crap is already out in the open and you've signed a waiver for this. All Ethan's got to do to prove himself innocent of this nonsense is simply go out and get a copy of the contract that you signed, because I'm promising you, you signed something, get a copy of the waiver and present it to a judge. At that point, you have no control over it. You have waived your right to control any of it. As I said, again, you have no legal standing. This is why you're sitting there trying to say, oh, I'm the owner of Comicsgate. Yeah, you, you you don't even understand the law that's going forward. Okay, you're one of these people. This is what you are, Preston, okay? You're one of those kids that when they start getting their ass beat on a video game, they turn around and they go, I'm going to call mom. I'm going to go tell your mom. I'm going to tell your mom you're beating me up in this game, 
It's like, dude, it's it's Street Fighter. You're going to get your ass kicked in this game at some point in time. Either you're going to do the ass kicking or someone's going to be kicking your ass. It, it It's not going to end in a draw all the time. All right? But you're mad you're losing in a game. That's fine. All right? And you're doing this on the vain hope that somehow they're just going to magically believe what you're saying. Oh, no, 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 no. It doesn't work like that. The judge is going to look at you and he's going to look at Ethan. He's going to say, Mr. Van Skyver, do you want to... to uh, counter sue or or even worse what's going to happen if you do take him to court and this is something that a lot of people don't think about sometimes the judge if you waste his time will sit there and demand that you pay the court costs of the person you're trying to go after because you have no freaking case so you may be charged you may end up paying ethan van skyver's court costs <laughs> after this is all over and that would just that would be that would just be cuckery piled on top of cuckery, okay? <laughs> because Ethan, as good looking as he is, is a bald guy. You've at least got hair over Ethan, and you're going to end up being cucked out and having to pay Ethan for his court costs before this is over with. That's the sad part of it. And you're so stupid, you don't even know it. You're so stupid, you think you can just walk in there, throw down a lawsuit. And I don't even think you're planning on giving a lawsuit. Like I said, I think this is just you screaming and yelling, wanting the wanting the madness to end. <clears throat> and so you're threatening everyone by, with legal action. You're threatening Ethan Van Skyver with legal action. You're basically pulling a naughty dog right now. Okay? You're pulling Naughty Dog's crap of going after everybody and using the system to go after them. The only difference is Naughty Dog actually knows what the fuck they're doing to an extent. They're actually somewhat successful. <clears throat> you you only increase the possibility of more people talking about it. In fact, I wasn't even going to talk about this nonsense and just let it go. But you've acted like such an absolute punce. I mean, God, let me, let me tell you something. Just because your wife shoves something up your sp- up your ass. It does not mean you have a spine. All right? She did not install a spine. Okay? For one, a spine's made of bone, and that was probably made of silicone. But at the end of the day, man, you want this to end, just take the L and go. Okay? The reason people are laughing about this, the reason why people are laughing at you and making fun of you, is you went out there and used the exact insult of cuck to describe Comicsgate as if it made you more of a man. And you tried to say that you were a better man than they were. And guess what? You ended up like every politician who comes out there and says they're against gay marriage who ends up afterward getting caught in a gay relationship. Okay? You... You might as well just let it go. You're a massive hypocrite, and right now being a complete either you're being a complete and total liar, or you really are this freaking stupid. I'm willing to bet it's a combination of the both. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I am the last raider. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Uh, also hit a like and a notification so you know when these videos are coming out. And as always, keep your head on a swivel, stay frosty, and I'll see you guys in the next video.